This video is an introduction to the basic tools for finding content on DocuSeq 2. It will be followed up with another video on some of the advanced search tools that are available in DocuSeq 2. But in this video, we'll look at some of the basic options that are available to users. First, from the menu bar, there is a new releases link, which is an entry point into seeing what are new titles that have been added to DocuSeq 2, new streaming titles. There's also a collections link, which is a way of seeing which collections have been created on DocuSeq 2. A collection is basically any set of films. Uh, it ranges from the entire collection, everything that's available on DocuSeq 2, collections of films from specific distributors, as well as thematic collections that we've curated ourselves and series that are available from distributors. So for example, I can click on the Collective Eye Collection and it is a convenient way of seeing which titles are available from Collective Eye Films for streaming on DocuSeq 2. Scrolling down, I can see after the distributor collections, um, for example, the architecture collection, which is a thematic collection that we've curated of 18 titles that relate to the subject of architecture. You can also find titles uh, by title. The Titles A to Z page is a way of seeing all the titles that begin with a particular letter of the alphabet. You'll notice in this case that I have already logged into DocuSeq 2. It shows the My Account and My Movies link. If I click on the My Movies link, it will show all of the titles that my institution has licensed. These are titles that I can view on DocuSeq 2. I can filter through that list by typing in any sequence of letters and clicking the Filter button. And DocuSeq 2 will filter the title list and any title that has AGE appearing in it, not only the Age of Risk or the Age of Stupid, but Outrage and Passage uh, will show up in the results. Another much more flexible way of searching for content in DocuSeq 2 is the keyword search. The keyword box appears at the top of most pages. Enter in the keyword that um, you're interested in searching for, click the blue arrow to the right of it, and DocuSeq 2 will display uh, the results of all films that it, 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 where it finds that keyword. Now note that DocuSeq 2 is searching through many different fields to find uh, the word that you're interested in. DocuSeq 2 will assign a relevance score to each of the films based on the appearance of that word within the metadata. And by default, DocuSeq 2 sorts the results by relevance when you do a keyword search. You can also sort your results by title, release year, and length. And you can change the sort order by clicking the little blue triangle. You can also change the number of search results that appear on each page by selecting the appropriate value from the Show Per Page dropdown. Let's take a look at the search results. DocuSeq 2 displays a still from the film, the title, a short description of the film, shows the distributor, the year, the length, age appropriateness, and the relevant score again if uh, a keyword search was done. To the right of the result, in most of the cases, you'll see an icon, a little film strip icon. The dark, solid blue icon indicates that the film has been licensed by our institution and that it's available for me to watch right now. So I can click that icon, and DocuSeq 2 will open up a player for me to view the film. In some cases, the icon is dimmed. This indicates that the title has not been licensed by my institution. And when the icon is gone completely, it indicates that the title is not currently available for streaming. If I click the title, I will be taken to the information page about that title. Now remember that Black Wave has been licensed by our institution, so that when I go to that film's page, I see the player and I can watch the video, as well as see other video viewing options. In the case of Empty Oceans, Empty Nets, we have not licensed this film. So when I go to that page, 
Instead, I see the preview player where I can view the first 10 minutes of the film. I can also, of course, from the product information page, see the description, reviews, credits, cataloging information, including the mark record if it's available, as well as some other metadata terms. Another way of searching for films is using the subject tree. The subject tree appears to the left of the results page. From the home page, the subject tree is in the left-hand column under the subjects tab. The top level subjects appear in a list. Next to them is a triangle if there are subheadings underneath it. I can click the triangle to see the subheadings. And you'll notice that some of these subheadings also have triangles which indicate further subheadings. So I can drill down into the subject list and then click on the most specific subject that I'm interested in and see all of the films that have been assigned to that subject. That about covers the basic search options in DocuSeq 2 or the different ways for finding content. If you have any questions about this feel free to contact us via the contact link at the top of most pages. Now just to recap, we can search for new releases, what collections are available and what films are part of those collections, titles A to Z. From the My Movies list, we can search within the titles of just content that our institution is licensed. We can do a keyword search, or we can use the subject tree to search for specific subjects. That about covers it. Um, feel free to um, contact us as I said before. We, you can also visit our help page. There's a link on the menu bar that will take you to the help wiki for DocuSeq2. You can use the question mark icon as well. In the help wiki we have topics for searching for titles as well as searching for results or you know figuring out what the search results mean. So um, I hope you enjoy working with DocuSeq2 and be sure to check out our advanced search options in the uh, next video. Thank you.